the construction I found downtown did not stop me from coming out on this beautiful day. I've been working on the highway here locally. Hey y'all. Have you ever gotten the inclination that you just want to share more? You need to create and just share a bit of yourself. Maybe it's just to document your life. Maybe it's to understand what the good bits are about. So, welcome. This is going to be my maybe slight, maybe not slight, giddy jaunt. But I enjoy where I live. I have a beautiful town that I live in. I live in the South, more specifically, North Carolina. And I'm gonna start local and just see where this takes me. I'm not sure if it will take me anywhere at all. It very well, maybe this is it. I don't know. I mean, do we know anything with life though? Do we know what's really gonna happen? No, and that's the beauty of it. So, join me on my little adventure as I document my life and where I live. I have an affection for history, oddities, travel, roadside attractions like this. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It is over seven feet tall. It's known as the Mickey Pot. In 1858, two brothers placed this in front of their business. Once upon a time, there wasn't signs to mark a business. This was your way of marking your business. It was in front of their tin shop. Not a local coffee shop, but a tin shop. If you've seen this big tin pot of coffee, you could assume that all your tin needs would be met just by seeing this coffee pot. It's also rumored that soldiers may have hidden out inside of this during the Civil War. I can't confirm it, but that's how folklore and legends start. It's just word of mouth. There's a fork in the road where this gem sits. It's been moved several times, but I'm real thankful it's here. I mean, look at that. Apparently one time it was moved because it was distracting in one location it was at. So they moved it here to Old Salem, which as you see behind me is absolutely beautiful. Look at those homes. I may do more on Old Salem at a later date, but right now we're just going to capture this awesome pot of coffee. I mean, really, I think I would like one of those in my home, just like that. Does anybody have a coffee pot like that? All that coffee talk, and I forgot to mention, that pot would hold 11,000 cups of coffee. All I want is just one. Ah, every inch of my heart and soul loves, loves everything to do with coffee. So if you enjoyed my giddy jaunt, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day. I really appreciate you. Till next time. Goodbye.